there is a past in every saint and there is a future for every sinner. Saint Mark tells us that two groups of people were drawn to Jesus. First, the lame, the blind, the lepers, the homeless, such as widow and orphans. They come to him to be healed and comforted. Second, public sinners, like the town prostitutes and corrupt tax collectors. In calling Levi, who was also named Matthew, a tax collector by profession, who was despised by the people, to be one of the disciples, Jesus goes against the orthodox Jewish practices. The religious leaders found fault with Jesus for making friends with sinners and tax collectors. The orthodox Jew is not supposed to give or receive anything from these public sinners, refuse to intermarry and cannot be guest, including table fellowship. Jesus' association with sinners shocked the sensibilities of these orthodox Jews. When the Pharisees challenged this unorthodox behavior of Jesus in eating with public sinners, Jesus' defense was quite simple. A doctor doesn't need to visit healthy people. Instead, he goes to those who are sick. Jesus, the true physician, seeks healing of the whole person, body, mind, soul, spirit. Jesus came as the divine physician, the good shepherd, to care for his people and restore them to wholeness of life. The Pharisees practiced selfish religion because they closed themselves to others. They did not want to have anything to do with the people. Jesus, on the other hand, practiced true religion because he generously related with the poor, the needy, orphan, widow, the unloved, the outcast, and the marginalized. All of us, orthodox or despised, are in need of the mercy of God. As we read in the letter to the Romans, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. The call of Matthew, the tax collector, has another spiritual implication, which reveals the mind of Jesus that is depicted by Caravaggio, an Italian artist, in his painting. This painting is preserved in the Basilica of St. Louis in Rome. As Jesus was passing by the custom office, through a gesture, he calls Matthew. And in great surprise and a question on his face, Matthew returns another gesture. Meaning, is it me that you are calling? What is the message, my dear friends? Very simple but profound. There is a past in every saint and there is a future for every sinner. Therefore, let us pray with Saint Augustine. Lord Jesus, our Savior, let us now come to you. Our hearts are cold. Lord, warm them with your selfless love. Our hearts are sinful. Cleanse them with your precious blood. Our hearts are weak. Strengthen them with your joyous spirit. Our hearts are empty. Fill them with your divine presence. Amen.